Hello everybody, welcome to the demo. Now it's, uh, I've done a mountain scene for, for a while, inspired by some paintings on the community page in the, on Patreon. I thought I'll have a go at one myself. So let me show you the colours I've used. Now on the palettes for this one I've used Ultramarine, Payne's Grey, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber and Light Red. Uh, brushes, large on Rantanake, got a small on Rantanake, got a small sword liner, a quarter inch flat and a number three rigger. Right then, let's kick this one off by wetting it all over and then I'm going to start with... Um, I was going to go into ultramarine then, but I'm going to start with a bit of... A bit of raw sienna, just whack that in. Haphazardly, as haphazardly as you like. And then I'm giving it a bit of ultramarine. I've put lots and lots of paint now. I'm trying this this method now. Putting lots and lots of paint. It's almost like the width of the brush now. They're like having like massive pans. See that way I can really get lots of colour. So I can already tell now I'm getting a lot more colour on the brush than what I was previously. So just looking for some dramatic lighting effects really and then just starting off just getting some mountains in there something like that they're the distant ones just that off a little bit and that would be a better one Bit of cloud in there, and then if we're sort of starting like that, and then I'm just I'll we'll just take the card and you can see you just get all dramatic just trying to get the bit of some really sort of big peaks going in there and up to them pushing up to those to get back into those colours then we've got another few ones at the bottom there. Take that one again. Sort of snow cap one. They're all a bit symmetrical, which I'm just being careful now, making them too symmetrical. Now I've got a big mountain coming down that side now. I'm trying to can I get it on this. I might have to re-wet this just to get some looser, looser edges. Yeah, what I might do for now is I'll give that a quick dry. Oh, let's grab the air dryer. Right, what I'm going to do is uh, give that a bit of a spray and then if I go back into it, just darken those a little bit. 
Got a little bit. A little bit too faint. And if I soften the bottom off a little bit like that. Yeah, I'm gonna a little sienna in here as well, just to mix it up a little bit. At this point, I really don't know if I'm making it better or worse. I'm going to it's still too tall, I'm really loosen it up a bit. different textures and things going on there. very much experimenting with this sort of thing. Um, let's just soften, soften the base all the way along there. I'm trying to establish if I just need to faff about with it anymore or if I'm happy to just leave it as it is before I move into the, like the middle ground, the middle section because there's a slight change in colour. Um, I might just leave that as it is for now I think. Um, i trying to think. of creating oh, just bits of snow on there. Um, oh. Just thinking maybe if I a little bit of the darker sections. Shady, shady bits.
thing is in there and just faff around with it a little bit. Well, I think that's enough messing about for a bit. What I'm going to do now is put some trees in. So I'm going to go a bit of light red, a bit of burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine in there as well. Right, let's see what this colour looks like. I'm going to start off down there and I'm just going to flick them up. Flick them up, something like that. That one's down there, I'm just going to do like this, just pull the brush up like that. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll just soften the base of them off a little bit in a minute. I'll do some of that with these as well, actually. Oh, I could soften the base off, but use doing rocks. get the odd one with the sword liner. Just get the odd the odd tall one. Not really sure what that's achieved to be honest with you but Um, let's use the small hike. This is the small hike. Now let's see what sort of effects I can get with this. Um, let's, let's just go in with a red. Just get something really dramatic. Let's see what that looks like. A bit of brown. A bit of blue. Like, uh, like it's, it's, it's looking very much like a little river bank down the bottom, and the bottom of the scene. Let's get back to that. There's too much water on the brush, then. this off in a bit. But for now, get a little dark mix in there. Could have like, a, like some sort of drop down to the water. that's just coming around that bend and then just 
Put all this up a little bit. A few more little darks in the foreground section, so I'm sticking with the little height brush. Not too much water. I think, I think I'm almost there now. I'm going to sign that now. Yes, okay, so I'm going to have a little bird. I'm going to have a little bird flying somewhere right up there. Stick a mount on this now and see what it looks like. So here's our finished painting, so we're going to have a closer look. So the sky was just a mix of ultramarine uh, with a little bit of Payne's Grey and then I've used the same for the mountains. 
So you can see where I've used the cartilage, just try and scrape in a bit of texture. And then just painted a few shadows on the right hand side of these little peaks and just use the card to scrape out the rest of it, get down to the sort of white of the rock. Lighter toned mountains behind just to help create that sense of depth. I can imagine like a little valley behind there. And then got sort of mist, there's like a misty river coming through the valley. You can see where it's got a lot misty up there and then it sort of comes down through and then right the way into the foreground. I didn't bother painting anything, just left it like misty looking. It just gives it that sort of river, sort of snaking river sort of impression. So those were the, it was pretty much just ultramarine and Payne's Grey across these mountains and then switch to of the warmer sort of light red burnt umber with a bit of ultramarine in there as well to um, suggest this sort of tree line and then couldn't really scrape in a few rocks in front of that. And these rocks coming right down into this river bank. Did a few little small ones as well over there. I did a few darks, dried it and then I did a few more darks, dries, darks using the small run rants and hike. And you got all the darks contrasting nicely against the misty river. I think the only thing I could have done, maybe um, a log cabin somewhere would have would have not worked nice as a focal point. I don't know, maybe here somewhere or somewhere on this hillside, but I remember that for next time. But for this time, thanks as always for watching. Um, do join me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin if you get the opportunity. I'd very much appreciate your presence in our little watercolour community we've got going on. Loads of paintings on the community page. So until then, keep practising. If you've got any questions, please ask. And I'll see you again soon.